हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर फाइव ऑन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड कैटालिसिस कैटालिसिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस यूनिट फोर बेसिक केमिस्ट्री एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कैटालिसिस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कैटालिसिस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस बाय जे जे बर्जिलियस इन एटीन थर्टी फाइव फ्रॉम द नॉलेज ऑफ रेट ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व दैट द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन इज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सर्टन फॉरन मटेरियल्स विच वॉज कॉल्ड एज द कैटालिस्ट एंड द फिनोमिन वॉज लेबल्ड एज कैटालिसिस जे जे बर्जिलियस studied several re- chemical reactions under different conditions and from the knowledge of rate of chemical he introduced the concept of catalyst and catalysis let us define catalyst and catalysis the substance which alters the rate of chemical reaction without undergoing any chemical change is called as catalyst and the process of changing the rate of chemical reaction by the use of catalyst is known as catalysis so catalyst is the substance which either increases or decreases the rate of chemical reaction without taking part into the chemical reaction there are three types of catalyst positive catalyst negative catalyst and auto catalyst first one is positive catalyst the substance which increases the rate of chemical reaction is called as positive catalyst example 1 conversion of starch into sugar in the presence of acid so here acid acts as the positive catalyst which increases the rate of chemical reaction of conversion of starch into sugar example 2 combination of hydrogen and oxygen in the presence of spongy cadmium so here spongy cadmium acts as the positive catalyst second type of catalyst is negative catalyst negative catalyst decreases the rate of chemical reaction example 1 the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 is suppressed by the addition of small amount of glycerin or urea here glycerin or urea acts as the negative catalyst example 2 decomposition of chloroform is suppressed by adding small amount of ethanol so here ethanol acts as the negative catalyst which suppresses the oxidation of chloroform in the presence of oxygen which results into the formation of poisonous carbonyl chloride compound so that formation of car- poisonous carbonyl chloride compound was inhibited or was retarded by the addition of 2% ethanol so 2% ethanol acts as the negative catalyst third type is auto catalyst and auto catalysis in certain chemical reactions one of the products alters the rate of reaction which is known as auto catalyst and such reactions are known as auto catalytic reactions or auto catalysis example 1 hydrolysis of ester is auto catalyzed by the acid which is formed as the product of the reaction so you in this reaction ethyl acetate undergoes hydrolysis and forms acetic acid and ethanol now as soon as acetic acid is formed as the product it 
acts as the catalyst and increases the further hydrolysis of ethyl acetic. Hence, here acetic acid acts as the autocatalyst and the reaction is called as autocatalysis. So far we have talked about talked about catalyst. Now let us talk about catalysis. As we have learned what is catalysis? It is the process of changing the rate of chemical reaction by the use of catalyst. Okay. There are two types of catalysis. One is homogeneous catalysis and the other one is heterogeneous catalysis. Let us know about homogeneous catalysis. When the reactants and the catalyst are in the same phase, the process is called as homogeneous catalysis. Okay. So, when the reactants are and catalyst are in the same phase, that is either gaseous phase or solid phase or liquid phases, then the reaction can be called as homogeneous catalysis. Example, lead chamber process for the manufacture of sulfuric acid. You can see in the reaction, sulfur dioxide gaseous phase and oxygen in gaseous phase combine together in the presence of nitric oxide in the gaseous phase as the catalyst results into the formation of sulfur trioxide gas. So here reactants and gas uh, catalyst are in the same phase hence the type is homogeneous catalysis. Second type is heterogeneous catalysis. The catalytic process in which the reactants and the catalyst are in different phases is known as heterogeneous catalysis. So when the reactants and gaseous catalyst are in different phases then it is called as heterogeneous catalysis. Example, oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide in the presence of platinized asbestos. Okay. Reaction is shown here. Sulfur dioxide in gaseous phase results into the formation of sulfur trioxide in gaseous phase in the presence of solid platinized asbestos as the catalyst. So, you can see the phases of reactant and catalyst. Reactant is in gaseous phase and platinum is in solid phase. So, both the phases are different, hence the catalysis is heterogeneous. There are two more terms in addition to catalyst and catalysis, which are called as catalytic promoter and catalytic inhibitor. Let us know what is catalytic promoter. The substance which themselves are not catalyst, but when mixed in small quantities with the catalyst increases the efficiency of catalyst are called as promoters. Example 1. Haber's process for the manufacture of ammonia. Here this is the chemical reaction for the manufacture of ammonia by Haber's process. Ammonia is formed by the combination of nitrogen and hydrogen in gaseous phase in the presence of Fe as the catalyst and here molybdenum is added in small quantities to increase the activity of iron catalyst. So here molybdenum acts as the catalytic promoter. Here is another example of catalytic promoter that is hydrogenation of oil. So Vanaspati ghee or dalda is manufactured by hydrogenation of vegetable oil in the presence of nickel as the catalyst and to increase the activity of nickel, copper or tellurium is added in small quantity as catalytic promoter. Next one is catalytic inhibitor. 
the role of catalytic inhibitor is exactly opposite to that of a promoter these are useful for reducing the activity of a catalyst for an undesirable side reaction so catalytic inhibitor are the substances which reduces the activity of the catalyst and retards the chemical reaction example the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide slows down by adding a small amount of glycerin or urea as inhibitor in alkaline solution as the catalyst so in this reaction glycerin or urea acts as the catalytic inhibitor and alkaline solution acts as the catalyst here is the last topic of this chapter is industrial applications of catalyst catalysts are used in industry for various processes to obtain the chemicals and domestic products so here let us talk about some of the important industrial applications of catalyst first one is the haber's process for the manufacture of ammonia ammonia gas is manufactured by the combination of nitrogen and hydrogen in the presence of iron as the catalyst and along with the iron to increase its efficiency small quantity of molybdenum is added as catalytic promoter now here second and third is the application of catalyst for the manufacture of sulfuric acid only so there are two process of manufacture of sulfuric acid one is contact process and the second one is lead chamber process in contact process sulfur dioxide and oxygen combine together in the presence of solid platinized asbestos as the catalyst to form sulfur trioxide which is further converted into sulfuric acid okay so in contact process platinized asbestos is used as the catalyst third one is lead chamber process for the manufacture of sulfuric acid as you can see in the reaction sulfur dioxide in presence of water combines with oxygen in the presence of nitric oxide as the catalyst results into the formation of sulfur trioxide which is further converted to sulfuric acid so here in lead chamber process nitric oxide is used as the catalyst okay. so both the processes are the manufacture of sulfuric acid you have to remember the name of the catalyst for the process next application is decomposition of sulfur hydrogen peroxide which is carried out in the presence of colloidal platinum as the catalyst next application is hydrogenation of oil that is manufacture of vanaspati ghee or dalda which is carried out in the presence of nickel as the catalyst and along with the nickel small quantity of copper or tellurium is added to increase its activity as the catalytic promoter next conversion of glucose into alcohol in the presence of zymase enzyme as the catalyst hydrolysis of maltose into glucose is carried out by the enzyme maltase as the catalyst so application number 6 and 7 both are the examples of enzymatic catalysis next one dekan's process for the manufacture of chlorine which is carried out in the presence of copper chloride as the catalyst and the last one that is cracking of heavy petroleum which is carried out in the presence of 
सिलिका और एल्यूमिना जेल एज द कैटालिस्ट देर आर मेनी मोर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कैटालिस्ट वी हैव गैदर्ड ऑल दीज एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम ऑल द थ्री पब्लिकेशन बुक्स ओके फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू